Matt Geike here with Denny Urban, the top scoring defenseman in the history of the men's hockey program. Denny about to go into the Army Hall of Fame, going to be the third men's hockey player to go in. So first and foremost, it's got to be a big thrill for you. What was your first reaction when you heard the news? Uh, I, I was really excited, you know, uh, playing hockey growing up my whole life uh, to get the call to to be in the Hall of Fame, it, it, it proved that all the hard work that I did is actually paying off. What's some advice you might have for some current RMU student athletes or any student athlete out there? Because it is a challenge, and um, as you mentioned, you get a chance to represent RMU. You're from the Pittsburgh area, too, so that's an extra thrill. But there are a lot of potential distractions, too, when it comes down to it. Yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of distractions. Uh, biggest advice I have is probably just have fun. It goes really fast. Um, when you, you come in as a freshman, you're like, oh, man, another four years of school. But next thing you know, you wake up and you're getting ready for graduation. So just have fun and enjoy the experience, enjoy the ride. And uh, it, it, it's uh, something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. What was your adjustment like coming to the, the college level? And I mentioned uh, you put up quite a bit of points. Obviously, you're our top scoring defenseman. You're in the top 10 all the time uh, amongst nine other forwards. So. Did you get a feel right away that you might be able to uh, succeed at, at this level and, uh, and continue what you were doing at lower levels of the game? Uh, you know, I, I, I think it had to do with a lot of uh, the guys that I played with at Robert Morris. You know, they, uh, um, they uh, put a puck in the net when I, when I gave them a pass, and I was lucky to get a couple uh, uh, easy assists from good players like uh, my fellow uh, classmates, uh, not classmates, but fellow teammates in the Hall of Fame like Margot and, and Longpre. When you have two guys in the Hall of Fame, um, that you're passing the puck to, it, it makes it pretty easy to generate some points. What's it meant to be part of a group like that? You mentioned Margot, Longpre, the list goes on and on, of guys who've helped build this program up. Still a pretty new program in the context of college hockey, but a program that's also accomplished quite a bit. Yeah, it, it, it is nice um, you know, to have guys like that that are in the Hall of Fame with you and uh, to be able to uh, you know, maybe help recruit some players for Robert Morris for a new program. and and uh, show them that, you know, if you want to play, to come to Robert Morris and you'll have a good chance to succeed. Now, you've stayed in the game of hockey, you played pro hockey for a while, but you're still in the game. I've seen you around some local rinks, refereeing uh, high school games. You've been uh, refereeing some, or uh, excuse me, officiating some ECHL games too. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's that experience been like and what uh, led you to get into that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I'd ever become a referee at playing for so long. You know, I didn't really like them, but, uh, you know, I got kind of tired sitting at home doing nothing. And, you know, I called uh, a classmate of mine, a good friend, Furman, who was officiating and said, you know, I, I want to get back into the game. What, what do you think about officiating? And uh, he pushed me to go to the uh, exposure combine. And, and, you know, I really enjoy it and have fun. And it's a... It's almost like being a player that you, you're still going to the rink to do something, but you're with a different team now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you helped put hockey on the map at Robert Morris, so thank you for that. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame appointment here, and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.